Hello and welcome to Andan's channel, my channel, and uh, it's not a Doctor Who thing again. <laughs> my throat is still like, ugh, I'm still sick, which is, you know, it's always fun when it's actually like the weekend, and then you're like, ugh. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna be talking about Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., my love, because yesterday the world was met with the news that we're gonna get a season seven, and season six hasn't even come out yet. That's amazing! <laughs> season 5 was going to be the last season, and then they got um, a season 6, and now they have a season 7. And season 6 isn't even out yet, it's fucking amazing, I love it. For me personally, season 5 was like the end of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and in my mind season 6 was just going to be like a, like a lovely little like cake filler on top of it. <laughs> I thought season 5 ended so beautifully, and you can see my reaction on my channel for it. Hey, hey. <laughs> but now we're gonna get a season seven and season six and seven, they are both going to be running in the summer instead of uh, the fall, which is why there's no shield reaction right now because it's not coming out right now. It's coming out during the summer, but they've already started filming season six like a while ago, which gets me excited because maybe we'll see some cool or like visual effects, especially now that the episodes aren't 22 anymore but they're 13, and my hope is that they still have the same budget for 22 episodes, but it's 13. Could you imagine how many cool things they suddenly can do? Um, I don't think that's the case, unfortunately, but holy shit, I'm excited, it's S.H.I.E.L.D. And here's a statement from the president of ABC Entertainment. Season seven will follow an abbreviated six season that will run for 13 episodes instead of the 22 episode run that all previous five seasons have had. And he also says that by putting it in the summer, we're going to be able to super serve the fan base that loves the show and hopefully give it an opportunity to continue on longer than we would if it was in schedule in season. Basically what he's saying is, if they hadn't changed it up, if season six hadn't been suddenly in the summer, um, season five probably would be the last season, but then they came up with this and they were just like, sure. But never mind that though, because that isn't all the news we have. We also have our first look at Quake uh, in season six. Uh, so you can see here, this is this is Quake, who has a new outfit and new hair. <laughs> and I like the outfit. I like it when the, the superheroes have the, the more like detailed outfit. So I like the purple added to it. I'm not sure I'm a fan of it being in the hair, but hey, that's just like a small little cosmetic thing. Um, so I don't really care that much, to be honest. I wish the gauntlets were bigger, but that's just me being like a comic book nerd. I, I do think that they're slightly smaller than what she previously had. I will say I don't like the black like fabric around her hands. I would have preferred that to be more metal around it. Other than that, do I think the costume looks, I think it looks pretty good. Something that I found interesting was that Agents of Shields like social media says, Chloe Bennett rocking a new look as Quake this season on Marvel's Agents of Shield. Now, this might not surprise you because obviously Daisy Johnson is Quake and Daisy Johnson has been Quake ever since season four to the world of S.H.I.E.L.D. But in the marketing so far, they they never say Quake. They always say Agent Daisy Johnson until now when they just flat out say like, hey, Quake. And this leads me to believe that she will be referred to as Quake a lot more this season and she will be a full on like superhero. Because another thing that I noticed that Daisy Johnson, she always carries a gun which she isn't anymore. She doesn't appear to have a gun anymore because she would always have a gun strapped to her thigh. So maybe she will instead like use her powers a lot more uh, instead of like shooting and stuff. And I love that because I want to see more powers. So I'm excited to see like a more potentially a more superhero Daisy Johnson. I don't think Daisy Johnson has ever had like a purple thing going on except for in the new new Marvel Rising show. I think she has purple there, so maybe that's where they're drawing it from. I love it. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is the best superhero like show that's out there so far, and I can't wait to see it continue, and it's gonna be great, it's gonna be fantastic, and of course, I'm gonna be doing reaction for it, so hey, S.H.I.E.L.D. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you think about this season 7 that's gonna come out. What do you think about the fact that it's in the summer, it's 13 episodes, and also, what do you think about 
Quake's new uniform. I uh, would love to hear all of your opinions in the comments section down below. And I'm going to go now though. But I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys next. And goodbye. <laughs> no. <laughs>